Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on the uh, we, we are going to set up the material of the base character to support uh, team colors. Here you can see this is a preview of Age of Empires. Here you can see just by looking at the uh, characters you can see which team they belongs to. Here you can see red and blue and we are going to set up a similar method for our characters. And here is the demonstration of our game that we are working on. You can see blue and red. So we are not going to do any kind of C++ programming today. Only We are only going to set up the basic material to allow customizing character uh, color. So later on we will implement a faction interface so that we will actually uh, set up the team colors programmatically based on the faction they belongs to so here just to demonstrate here I have this variable this is also temporary you, just to demonstrate how this works so I have this variable and as you change the color it reflects on the character like this okay so let's see how to set up this today and before we get started let me remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from my Patreon page. And here in this playlist, you can watch all the episodes of that, of this series that I have covered so far. And also this is using C++ to implement the strategy game. But here there is another playlist that I worked on, a series. Here I have worked on a strategy template, but here I only used blueprints. So if you are into that, feel free to check it out. I'll leave links to everything in description. And now let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so here now I can see this when you just look at them, they are red. But usually in a age of empires like game you have clear team colors some of them like blue red green like that so i want to modify this character so basically we will have this selected color for this both houses and for the characters reflect the faction color or their team color so to do that we need to modify their material so that's what we are going to focus on today so here if i go to their material um, this is the diffuse the base material uh, texture that we have used and this is the yeah skeleton no that's the material oh in the details panel and that's the data so this night mat which is this one so we have a basic specular map and a normal map and a diffuse map so this is the diffuse map here let me export and export and then open it in photoshop Feel free to use any kind of uh, uh, any software that you prefer. So I need to isolate this red area. First thing. Okay. Now, where's my here? Yeah, I'll duplicate this layer using this selection J and go to just find this priority is actually red okay and then just find brightness contrast all right so basically what I need is something like a white material here and let me isolate this layer let me export only this here i'll call it night color mask 
Okay, open it here. Now let me open this. All right, good. So now, uh, how do we implement colors? Let's add uh, vector parameter. Let's call it faction color. And also, as the base texture, I will use this one. There this like this. Okay, now here I have removed the red part from the cloth and it now looks white. And also I have this color mask separately. Right now. Let me bring this color mask also in here. Oh, by the way, see now this is how the character looks. Go back to the material fashion color. Me to get started, let me make this as blue, maybe a nicer blue, something like this. Right now, here let's do a learn. This is A, and this is B. As alpha, I'll use this. Connect here. See, now we have a very nice blue color. So, if I apply, this is how it looks on the character. Okay, so if I want to have another team color, all I have to do is change in this faction color on the material. Now, here i don't this is only to, i don't want to do this simply like this but just to demonstrate here let me go to this blueprint but remember that we are doing everything in c plus plus this is only to demonstrate how to use this so later on we will properly implement the faction colors and everything through a c plus plus interface until then here just to demonstrate skeletal mesh that uh, material vector set vector parameter value on materials and this is action color we can have a variable here Actually, yeah, I'll well, make it visible so that we can edit it from outside. Let me make this blue by default, and we can use it like this. But now, here, if I select one of these characters. And we have the color here. I can change to whatever the color I want and make it either red, green, blue, whatever the color you need. See, see it changes now. Okay, so that's the simple material setup I want to have. Before we get started with the uh, teams or faction interface. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. And updated project files will be available here for download in the Patreon page. Goodbye.